Hey guys. So, uh, we are doing a haul video today, and yes, I realized that I just did a haul video on Friday, but I picked up some things over the weekend, and I wanted to show them to you in case, you know, something you might be interested in. And it's going to be an unusual haul in the sense that there is actually only one makeup product. The rest is all, like, miscellaneous stuff, but I think you'll enjoy it. And then... I'm going to warn you right up front, I think tomorrow is going to have to be a haul video too because I'm expecting a package in the mail, but after that, I have a bunch of tutorials planned. I've been doing a lot of um, research about different looks that I want to do, and uh, so I'll probably get into that on Wednesday, I would say, and uh, I have several different looks planned. All right, so let's get to the haul video. First and foremost is I absolutely have fallen in love with the false lashes, which I'm sure you can tell. Um, yeah, loving, loving the false lashes. And, it, you know, it's funny how your tastes and things change over time because I never, ever thought this would be something that I would enjoy. Because, like I said in my last video... I tried false lashes before and just wasn't for me at all and I don't know if I think it's probably the lashes that I tried last time were really lousy lashes but these I like a lot and I don't know I just like the way they look so guess I'm a false lashes gal now so because of that I went out and purchased some more so the Ardell Demi Wispies is what I have on, and I wanted to get a multi-pack because it's cheaper if you buy them that way. I bought these at Christmas Tree Shop, and for those of you that don't have Christmas Tree Shop, it's um, part of the Bed Bath & Beyond umbrella of stores. Um, they have Bed Bath & Beyond, Christmas Tree Shop, and Harmon Drug Stores. And some, not all, Christmas tree shops have a Harmon Drug Store in the Christmas tree shop. So anyways, I bought these because um, it's less expensive when you buy a multi-pack. And this was $10. And then I also bought a backup of the glue that I use, which is the Duo Brush-On Adhesive. And this is in the Dark Tone. And um, I like this because um, sometimes when you buy the white or the clear, you can see it. And this just sort of blends in with the band of the lashes. And so I like that. Plus, this is non-latex. I'm allergic to latex. So I bought a backup of that. And the last thing that I purchased at Christmas Tree Shop was the last shade I always have like a wish list of if I like a product, I'll jot down like colors that I like and then I'll, you know, periodically pick up things from like my wish list. And this was the last shade that I've been looking for of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And this is in the shade San Paolo. Yeah, <laughs> just I'm always, always second guessing myself. Yeah, San Paolo. And this is like a, a plummy pink. And I wore this, was it yesterday or the day before? Hmm, I can't remember. I wore it over the weekend in any case. And I liked it, but I wouldn't say that I loved it. And I was kind of surprised because I love plums normally. But I don't know, maybe it's because it's spring and I think of plum as a fall shade. That might be why, but um, yeah, so I'll try it again another day, and maybe it was just the makeup that I had on with it, I don't know. But anyways, I finally found this, because I had a lot of trouble with this, because there are so many shades of this now, and I think what's happening is uh, a lot of stores that carry the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, they're pulling like some of the older shades to bring in the new shades, and so this is one of the original shades, and so I was happy to find this because it had been on my wish list for a very long time, so got that. 
And then, okay, so that was Saturday that I went to Christmas tree shop. And then yesterday, I went to Family Dollar. And Family Dollar is a chain of discount stores. It's all across the United States. I'm pretty sure it's in every state. And um, I was just kind of walking around. I, I wasn't really planning on buying anything. But I saw this. This is an electric wax warmer. And I have been intrigued with this whole idea for a very long time now. And if you've been with me for a while, then you know that I like to burn incense. I like to burn candles. I'm into the whole making my environment smell really nice thing. And I saw this and I thought, oh boy, I really, really want to try that. And they actually had it in multiple colors. It didn't have any price tag on it. And there was nothing on the edge of the shelf to indicate what it was going to cost. So... I went up to the cashier and I, uh, you know, asked her if she had any idea what these were uh, price-wise. And she said, I think they're $10, but I'm not positive. So I said, all right, well, I'll grab one so that you can scan it. So it was, in fact, $10. And I thought that was a pretty good deal considering um, how pretty it is and how big it is. And um, so... There it is right there. <laughs> and it has wax in it right now and it is working and I love it. It's working great. Uh, this is my first experience with a wax warmer and just in case you don't know about these, what you do is you buy wax cubes and oh by the way this has indicator lights on it so when you turn it on you plug you plug the cord into the wall and then you just flip the switch and um, I like that it has indicator lights that way if I have it on for a long period of time I know whether it's on or not without having to um, touch the uh, wax warmer which don't do that because you could get seriously burnt and you put wax cubes in the top dish there and it just very slowly melts the wax. And there's a light bulb inside of there. And um, so it heats up the wax very slowly and it releases fragrance into the air. So they also at Family Dollar had wax cubes. So I just bought two packages. They were only a dollar a piece, which I thought was such a great price. I mean, how can you beat that? So the one that I'm burning right now is called Cinnamon Coffee Cake. And I put two cubes in there. And at first I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I don't really know anything about this. And I thought, I wonder if you're only supposed to do one at a time. But I just, I wanted to release a lot of fragrance into the air all at once. So I put two cubes in and apparently that was okay. Because when they melted, there's a line inside that dish and the melted wax came right up to that line. So don't put more than two because I think that's probably the maximum amount that you're supposed to put. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so there's wax cubes and you can just break off one or two from the block. And I'm so surprised that these are actually good because they were only a dollar a piece. So I wasn't expecting them to have much of a scent throw. And uh, the brand name on these is Interiors by Design. And I really like this one. So Cinnamon Coffee Cake. And then the other one that I haven't tried yet is Summertime Peaches. So kind of curious about that. Although when I open this up and just smell it in the package, this is not as strong smelling as the Cinnamon Coffee Cake is. Which means that, you know, when I actually use this it probably isn't going to have as much of a scent but that's okay because one of the things that I like about this as opposed to um, burning incense is that it's not overpowering I mean it's right behind me but yet I can smell it but it isn't too much you know how sometimes when you burn incense it can just be like 
overpowering and it's almost like, um, I don't know, just too intense. So this isn't intense at all. You can smell it, but it's not too much. So I love that. So it's similar to burning a candle in terms of the amount of scent that it puts out. But what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about um, a flame or fire or um, how long do you have it burning for. You can leave this on for a long, long period of time and it isn't going to create any kind of a fire hazard. However, if you have pets or children, I would say, you know, you need to take that into consideration because I used to have a cat and if I still had a cat, uh, my cat um, passed away. I had to have him put down a few years ago. But if I still had a pet, um, I would not trust him, especially a cat around something like this because cats are very curious by nature and he would probably go over and want to see what it is and he would be able to smell it and then he could um, get burnt on the hot wax or he could knock the whole thing over and make a big mess or whatever. So yeah, I would be very careful if you have children or pets if you were using one of these things. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this and I didn't say what the name of this was, the brand. It's called, the brand is Elegant Expressions and I just love the style of it. And they had it also in like a, a camel color, but I went ahead and got the bolder of the two colors because it goes with the color scheme in my living room. So I didn't have to worry about this clashing with um, the colors because I have a lot of natural wood colors in my house. I have a lot of like wood accents with cabinets and um, beams and the ceiling and everything. There's wood accents everywhere. The woodwork, everything. So this was perfect for the color scheme in my house. So loving, loving, loving that. And um, what, I was, what was I going to ask you guys? Um, oh, if you use a wax warmer and you have like a certain brand of wax cubes that you really, really think is superior to others, uh, what is it, where do you buy it, and how much is it? I would love your input on that. And the last thing I have to show you is clothing. Now, I don't buy a lot of clothing, um, but I've lost some weight recently, and I am the weight I'm supposed to be now, finally. Uh, it feels like it took me forever to get back down to my weight. I, My weight has fluctuated like crazy over the course of my life. I fluctuate between normal weight and being overweight, and um, it's it's really hard to stay at the weight you're supposed to be because there's temptation all around us and I mean I love food who doesn't and um, so it's it's tough but now I can finally walk into any store and buy clothes because before I could only shop at very few places because um, even when you're a little bit overweight it seems like the largest size in any store is tiny. And there, even though I'm the weight I'm supposed to be, there are still stores that I can't shop at because the biggest size that they carry is a large. And I can't wear a large. I mean, it, on my shirts and pants, I still have to wear an extra large because, um, I don't know, I just do. It seems like it, in some stores that's just the largest, the biggest they carry. Anyway, I was at five below this weekend, and now that I'm slimmer, I was looking at the clothes, and I thought, geez, I wonder if I could fit into some of these things now, because they carry extra large, and um, I don't care how much I pay for clothes. If I like something, I like it, and in some ways, I like to buy clothes that aren't expensive because I don't necessarily want to own something for a long, long time because I get tired of things and I want something new. So I bought some clothes at Five Below. And just in case you're not familiar with Five Below, everything in that store is $5 and under. So 
let me show you what I got because really, really amazed. Ne I've never had clothes from that store before and if you're only paying five bucks for something, you wouldn't expect it to be uh, very good, right? Well, I was really surprised. So I bought a pair of yoga pants and these are the kind that um, you can either wear the waistband up or you can fold it over, whichever is more comfortable for you. And these are straight leg, they're black, obviously. And I, when I bought these and took them home, I of course tried them on because they don't have a dressing room at Five Below. And um, I was really surprised, they, they fit me great. They're, uh, they're extra large, but they, they just, fit like I cannot gain any weight or, the, or they, I won't be able to wear them but that's good because if I really like these pants and I want to stay in them that will give me incentive to not eat a bunch of crap that I shouldn't eat <laughs> um, so really surprised at how like they seem to be made really well they've already been washed they held up in the washing machine did not put them in the dryer though I hang up a lot of our clothes to dry because um, I don't want them to shrink. I don't want them to um, just change their shape or anything like that. So I don't really uh, put, yeah, I, I hang up a lot of our clothes to dry. But, you know, still looks just like it did when I bought it. And then um, I got a shirt. I got a tie-dye shirt. I, you know, I used to have a tie-dye shirt, and I don't know what happened to it. My husband, when I bought this, I showed it to him, and he said, Oh, you're buying another tie-dye shirt? I said, Another tie-dye shirt? He said, Yeah, you used to have one. So I don't know what happened to it. It might have been a case where I gained or lost weight, and then it didn't fit anymore, and I probably donated it or something. But yeah, I don't know what happened to my tie-dye shirt. But this one I like better than the one that I used to have because it's two different three different shades of blue so really really pretty and again this is an extra large and it's got uh, it's got a v-neck in the front I like v-neck shirts they they are very flattering on me I have kind of large bust area and when when you have that problem or well I guess it's not really a problem but when you shape like that, V-necks are very flattering. We'll just put it that way. But I I love the the colors on that, and five bucks for a shirt, unbelievable. And then this was a big surprise. I couldn't believe they had these at all, especially for five dollars. And I got a fleece pullover, and I love this shade of blue. The trim is sort of a a shocking neon yellow that. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess it's all right. But this is uh, very thin, but that's good, actually, because I have two other fleeces, and uh, those aren't pullovers. The other ones that I have, they zip up. But one is like a medium weight, and the other one is a, a very, very heavy weight. I didn't have any thin fleeces, and for layering purposes this is great because sometimes the regular weight fleeces are just too heavy because um, fleece is a very insulating material so it really holds the heat and sometimes it's just too warm for that but sometimes you just need a little something a short sleeve shirt is just not gonna cut it and we're right in the midst now of like in between weather so this is perfect I'm I'm so glad that that I have this and I washed it this morning and I wasn't really sure how this was gonna go because I mean everything that I bought was five dollars so sometimes when you buy cheap clothing it doesn't hold up in the washer it changes shape or whatever and all three things were fine five dollars a piece and um, so really really thrilled with that and um, so if you've ever eyeballed the clothing at five below and thought mmm I don't know five bucks yeah it's it's fine so that is it you guys that is my haul and um, if you have any questions let me know and uh, if not then I'll see you tomorrow probably if my package comes today 
I ordered some more uh, ColourPop, so tomorrow will most likely be a ColourPop haul. And if my package doesn't come, then I'll get started on those looks that I told you about. And I'll do a get ready with me slash tutorial, whatever you want to call it, tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.